Not Sport was formed as a company in 1984 uh, by a gentleman called Bert Patrick, the founder of the company, and he discovered that Nottinghamshire County Council had a range of synthetic surfacing that was unique to them. So he started the company in 1984 by buying the patents and buying the rights of this product to enable him to use it commercially. It's always been a Leicestershire based company, based in Lutterworth, but we always carried the name Knotts as a kind of throwback to where we got the products from. Well, we've been exporting for a number of years, from 2001 to about early 2004, making many mistakes along the way. And we were told that there were some services available to us. So we decided to contact UKTI in 2004. Before we knew it, we were on the Passport to Export programme. Passport to Export offers businesses, like Not Sport, a very focused and structured approach to developing an export strategy. So what it does over a typically a 12-month programme is it will flag up all the key international trade themes that a business would need to consider, such as logistics and shipping, pricing strategy and perhaps the marketing approach. And it helps them to address all those issues within their business before they actually get out to the market. Basically got us organised. Instead of being reactive and jumping around, responding to phone calls and spurious sales leads in different parts of the continent, we actually worked out where we wanted to go, how we're going to do it and how long it would take us to achieve consistent success in a particular market. So essentially what it's trying to do is to reduce risk and in the long run save them money. Not Sport used Overseas Market Introduction Service to find high quality business partners in the form of distributors in their chosen markets. The market intelligence reports that they, they come up with for us in various markets at our request have been priceless in helping us find distributors in places such as Poland and Turkey. And they did that by tapping into the UKTI advisor support based at the British embassies or high commissions or consulates. Those local experts on the ground, they speak the language and they know the culture and essentially how to do business in the market. Telling UKTI what it is that we need and what we want overseas, they've managed to help us find the right distributor, not just necessarily the biggest distributor or the most well-known distributor, but the best distributor that matches what we need. Several years ago we were getting no business at all in a market such as Poland. Uh, this year we've done close to £100,000 worth of business in the Polish market. With Japan, we started trading with them only six months ago and we've already done £50,000 worth of business with them. It's been a remarkable kind of rise in sales. At the same time, what has happened is that our, a lot of our Western European markets have diminished due to the economic downturn of 2008. We would have been in a bit of trouble, as it were, if we hadn't found distributors further east. So again, this has been a massive help. The best advice I could give anybody considering exporting, go for it, but get help and advice, and get help and advice from the UKTI. Well, working with a company like Not Sport, you also like to think of yourself as an extension to their export team. So when they are facing challenges or, or issues on a day-to-day -day basis, they can always call you up as a sounding board or for advice and guidance. And of course we work with lots of partner organisations and businesses also that provide professional help and advice that we can signpost them to. Key to build the relationship, it's key to visit them, see, see what their factory is like, see what their premises are like, see how they are as people and get to know them as people. We've also found it very good to get people over here. It forms a close bond with the people immediately. So within a few months of us starting up with the company, we'll have visited them, but they'll have visited us as well. One thing I found out by traveling abroad and fulfilling the export role was how much people like British people when you go overseas. They want to do business with us. They want to impress us with what they can do. So my advice is to get out there, form good personal relations with people, do what you say you're going to do, get as much help as you can back home and just stick at it.